Today, we are talking about the best profession bonuses in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. We'll cover which bonuses you'll want per class for PvE and PvP. We're going to cover the strengths and weaknesses of each profession and tell you what to pick for your class. You are not prepared! Before we get started, check out this image showing the differences between each profession bonus. I got this image from Rockman and it's been floating around in various discords. There's a link to the image in the description below. Check it out. First up, let's cover blacksmithing. Blacksmithing is all about crafting BOE pre-raid bis weapons and armor. And of course, don't forget about the eternal belt buckles, which every single class will want to buy. Your profession bonus is an extra socket on your glove and on your bracer, totaling two extra sockets. This bonus is significantly weaker until you have access to epic gems. Overall, blacksmithing is primarily a gold maker in Wrath of the Lich King, and it's not best for raiding or for PvP. Next up, we have mining. Mining is used to obtain materials for blacksmithing, engineering, and jewel crafting. Your profession bonus is a 60 passive stamina buff. Although this stamina buff is useful for leveling, it's just not bis for any class. Moving into inscription, we have a very profitable profession. You'll be able to craft dark moon decks. You'll be able to craft glyphs. Both of these will be in massive demand by players and should lead to huge profit. Meanwhile, you'll also get BIS shoulder inscriptions in the form of master's inscriptions. Overall, this is a fantastic gold making profession. It's definitely viable for both PvE and PvP, but unfortunately, it's just not BIS. Speaking of inscription, make sure to check out my inscription guide. It'll get you to 450 as quickly as possible. Before we get into the strongest profession for every player in wrath i believe that that like button below the video is just waiting to be clicked come on doesn't he look cute just give him a click already now it's time for the best profession in wrath and that is engineering engineering is bis for every single spec in tbc it's bis for dps it's bis for healers and it's bis for tanks the hyperspeed accelerators are insane for any dps or healer they offer 340 haste rating for 12 seconds every single minute meanwhile the reticulated armor webbing offers 885 armor for your gloves so it's a must have for tanks. To top it off, we have the Nitro Boosts, which are a must have for serious PVEers. Meanwhile, the Serenite Bombs are up to 1500 free fire damage every single minute. And don't forget Runic Mana Injectors, which are 25% more than normal mana pots, specifically for engineers. That's about a thousand free mana per minute. Every single class and spec should have engineering for both PvE and PvP. If you plan to level engineering like I do, make sure to check out my full engineering guide for the fastest possible route to max level. Going from one BIS profession to the next, it's time to talk jewel crafting. Jewel crafting only gems will be the best raw stats of any profession. However, when epic gems become readily available in future patches, jewel crafting will have much less of a gap on other professions. Overall, I consider jewel crafting to be bis for DPS, healers, and tanks, at least at launch. Speaking of jewels, don't forget to click the subscription button because that will make you the jewel of my heart. And hit that diamond encrusted notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Moving into herbalism, you get your profession bonus lifeblood, which heals 3600 over 5 seconds and scales slightly with max HP. Herbalism isn't bis for any class but this is an excellent open world leveling profession and the bonus fits perfectly with it. Next up, we have Alchemy. Alchemy offers Mixology, which gives double duration on flasks and increased effects on consumables. This doesn't apply to things like mana pots, however, we're more talking about buff consumables. It's worth noting as well that the Flask of the North does work in arenas, so you'll get bonuses even in PvP. 
You also get alchemy specific trinkets like the Mercurial Alchemist Stone, which is near Prebis for all healers. Alchemy is an overrated profession compared to engineering, but it's still viable, particularly for healers. Moving into skinning, of course, skinning is very profitable. You'll be skinning mobs for Arctic fur, heavy boring leather, and making so much gold, but the bonus you get from skinning is very underwhelming. You just get a passive increase to critical strike by 40. This profession is not really recommended as an end game PVP or raiding profession. Next up, we have leatherworking. This is another profitable BOE focused profession with lots of pre-raid craftable bits. Your big profession bonus is fur linings for only leather workers. The stats on the fur linings are very comparable to the stats of other profession bonuses. Leather working is viable, but it's just worse than alternatives like engineering and jewel crafting for the end game. Next up, we have tailoring. Tailoring is another very profitable profession with lots of BOE epics to craft. And of course, don't forget the flying carpet mount, which is just so freaking cool. But the profession bonus draw here are the embroidery. The light weave embroidery gives 295 spell power for 15 seconds every 45 seconds, while the sword guard embroidery offers 400 attack power for 15 seconds every 45 seconds. There are strong numerical arguments that tailoring is best for spellcasters like Affliction Warlocks and Shadow Priests. This is because of how procs can be snapshotted to get longer durations. I posted a reddit article explaining snapshotting. Check it out in the description below. Finally, we have Enchanting. Enchanting is already an absolute monster of a gold maker, and now you have Vellums for sellable enchants. For your profession bonus, you have new ring enchants. Of course, you get two of these, and they're very comparable to the stats of the rest of the profession bonuses. Enchanting is definitely viable in raids and in arenas, but the stats from jewel crafting and the activatable engineering items are just too good to pass up. By now, you should have a great idea of what profession bonuses you want in Wrath of the Lich King. So now I have a question for you. Do you think it's a good thing that Blizzard tried to make all of the profession bonuses the same? Or do you like when there's a lot of variety and different ways to min-max? Personally, I love Blizzard's vision here. I love that they tried to make every single profession feel viable and unique at the same time. If you liked this video, make sure to check out my Wrath of the Lich King 5 things to do in the pre-patch video. That's the perfect video to get you fully prepared for launch.